Anything that requires you to remove your lens and get close to your camera's sensor sounds like a foolish idea. It cannot be safe to have small objects so close to the literal heart of your income or your passion. Damaging your sensor must surely be a death sentence for all cameras and there ain't no way I'd risk investing any money in a product with that kind of risk factor. And to be 100% honest, that was pretty much my headspace when I first looked into cases, clip-in filter systems. And when mentioning these filters to other creative friends, there was an instant and not so subtle cringe to their face as clearly I was not alone in my concern about something that sits so close to the heart of your camera. For those of you that have no idea what I'm talking about, Case creates filters that are specifically designed for certain camera models. These filters clip in right in front of your camera sensor, behind your lens. And just to be clear, yes, if you damage your camera sensor, I promise you won't be happy. And yes, Case also make a number of high quality normal lens filters as well. But as far as I could find, they are the only brand offering a clip in filter system like this. Before we go too much further, I just want to point out that Case did not approach me for this review, I reached out to them. See, I think there are some pretty major pros and cons to a filter system like this. Pros that in certain situations really appeal to me, and cons I could live with, with one exception. Are these filters safe to use? For those wondering about why you'd ever consider using filters like these, let's quickly smash through some of the pros. Number one, they are cheap. Compared to other screw-on or magnetic filters, there is far less glass required, making these an incredibly affordable option without giving up on quality. Number two, the location. See, if you have a lens with a large bulbous front element, you cannot attach normal screw-on filter systems, where this gets around that nicely. Number three, there are a few drop-in filter adapters that go between your lens and camera, which appear much safer, but if you're also trying to keep your system weather sealed, these are a no-go. Where the case system keeps your system as weather tight as can be. Number four, to carry a few filters and tools doesn't take up much space and is crazy light. And number five, they are a one size fits all lens option. No more worrying about which filter size to buy, especially as everyone suggests getting the biggest and most expensive option there is, and then using step up rings, which is another cost, for each lens that you own. Especially if, like me, you suddenly get your hands on a new lens with a filter thread that is 4mm bigger than your biggest filter you own, this one-off purchase just works with every lens you'll ever use on that camera. There are some subtle cons to the system though, with the most obvious being if you need to change or remove these filters in a harsh environment, then you will be exposing your camera sensor to the same harsh environment while doing so. So they are best suited for when you know what you're going to be shooting but doing a normal lens change in these environments runs the same risks as well. And I guess another is these are very small. Handling them feels a little fiddly as you try not to touch the glass, but I can promise you that's just an experience thing as you learn how to add or remove them. But if you have big rough working man hands, or you're just a little bit of a klutz when it comes to handling small lightweight items, I can understand your concern. But the major one, the one we all fear, is the safety of your camera. When I first got these, I sat down and repetitively added and removed filters from my camera just to gain a confidence with how to do so, thinking my camera's safety would highly depend on my experience. And if you decide to do this, I'd suggest attaching a lens between attempts, as I found doing so does firmly apply a little more pressure to the filter, setting it in more securely and making that little suction pen a lot harder to use, sometimes useless without first releasing the filter with Case's super complex, hard to replace custom filter releaser. To be honest, you could just use anything within reason to pop the filter up and then just tip it into your hand or then use the suction pen to remove the filter. But I did notice after a while, the suction pen also does leave some small smudges on the filter. Installing them is pretty straightforward as well. Though, like I said, I did read the instructions a ton beforehand out of nervousness. But essentially, you make sure your filter has its text facing towards the sensor and is the right way up. You place the bottom in first and then you drop the top in. Apply a small amount of pressure to the plastic parts if you like and if your fingers are small enough, but I found just attaching your lens is enough. And after a few goes, you get your head around it and it's not so bad. Which then got my confidence up enough to test to see what would be required to get these to damage my camera's sensor. Now this testing was done on my Fujifilm, I haven't looked at the shape of every model's filters, but imagine they're all similar, and the shape is important for two reasons. One, 
case wants your filter to be a firm fit so they aren't moving around inside your camera. And I quickly realized the other is because the bigger these filters are, it literally became impossible to get these filters to touch your camera sensor at nearly every angle as they just didn't fit in enough to make contact. On my Fujifilm X-H2S, the only way I could get the filter to a point where I thought it might make contact was if I turned the filter on its edge and then rotated it so it was trying to go in at 45 degrees. But in short, as long as you're installing these even vaguely as instructed, it's pretty bloody hard to get these to make contact with anything of importance. And if you want to be even safer, have your camera sitting upright. So if you do manage to fumble your install, the filter fills outwards and not inwards. But I can promise you that if you get in just a smidge of practice, you get to the point where you just drop these in, slap on a lens and go. Case's clip-in filter system is just as safe as making a normal lens change. So finally, I think the only thing we'd care about is the image quality of the glass. As these filters are the exact same size as your sensor and mounted so close, there is no chance of vignetting. I tested an ND8, an ND64 and an ND1000 and from all three found not a single change in sharpness. However, I did find the ND8 to be just a little warm and the ND64 to be very cold in the shadows. And the ND1000 was absolutely perfect. Results looked exactly the same as with no filter. This is amazing. But the only time I find slight color casts like this to be an issue is if you're trying to shot match to another camera. But to summarize, if you'd like a very affordable, perfectly sharp, one size fits all filter, these rock. And I can promise you after five minutes of practice, you won't even be the slightest bit worried about your camera's safety. Thank you kindly for making it to the end of the review. If you'd like to purchase this, there is an affiliate link down in the description below. You know the usual stuff. If you can just hit subscribe or like or both, that'd be awesome. I appreciate it. It helps, helps fund more videos like this, even if you don't buy the product. But otherwise, until next time, I'll catch you next time.